to us. Say that with me. It's up to us. It's up to us. It's up to us. Of course, we got that from the fact that Jesus said, suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us. Us. Now he was referring to John, who was finna baptize him, and he was referring to himself when he uttered these great words that have tripled down through the centuries to remind us what we're going to say to you today. And that is that God has left some things in our hands. God has left some things up to us. Amen. Our Sunday school lesson this past Wednesday is what focused me to piggyback on this subject and this train of thought. It said the subject of the first lesson for October was only you. Only you. And the reference was to from Psalm 100 where it says make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And come before his presence with singing and all that etc. etc. And the writers of God said it on this wise and never put in the lesson it was up to us. But he said, only you. In other words, they were saying that only you can praise God. Only you can honor God. Only you can enter his gates with thanksgiving. Only you can praise him. Can't nobody make you do nothing. But that does not change the mandate that God has something that is up to us to do. It's up to us. It's up to us. There are those things that are pertaining to righteousness, my sisters and brothers, that only God looks for us to do because the world going to do what it's supposed to do. The trouble with the, the, the whole scenario is, is that the world is doing what they supposed to do. But we fail it and sometimes often fall short on doing what we supposed to do. Oh, y'all don't get dry now. Amen. 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 The world going on every day doing their thing. And doing it vigorously and wholeheartedly. But the, the church, as, as well it be the local church or the universal church, heaven praying today, has ceased to do some of the things it ought to be doing. And I know, I know, and I'm not so naive to say that. That, that well things has changed Rev there's a pandemic now but because there are different things going on does not change the mandate that there are some righteous things we still ought to do we shouldn't change because things change the mandate is still the same I I have not read in scripture nowhere where God says, if this happened, you can stop doing what you've been doing. Come on, somebody. If, 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 if this go on, then you don't have to go on. Come on, somebody. And you know, when you look at this set of scripture, and especially this word from Jesus himself, among all those other verses, verse 15, Jesus was declaring and it, this is an, uh, uh, been a puzzle for somebody because some, many have thought when he said, suffer it to be now. They thought maybe in many times, knowing that we try to believe the English translation of the word, it, we think suffer means you have to suffer to go through these things. But no, that's not what Jesus meant. He was saying to John, as he talked to John, and he's talking to us today, saying, he was not saying you're going to suffer to do it. He said, allow it to be. There are some things in all our lives that pertain to righteousness that we are allowing to be. Can I get a witness? And so what Jesus was saying to John was, allow it to be. Have, make it happen now. Do it now. Presently. Then he tells John and, 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 and warning us today, it's becoming. He said, he says in that verse 13, he says, 15, he says, it's becoming us. You know, there's nothing 
nothing more beautiful than to see a child of God doing what God has said do. It's nothing more lovely than to see somebody working in the capacity that God has called them, ministering in the ministry where God has called them. It's nothing more attractive, nothing more beautiful than to see that person doing what they're supposed to do. Because you know why? Can't nobody do what you've been called to do like you. I know that there are those, come on, this is the first Sunday me. out there know where somebody else will do it. Yeah, they will, but they can't do it like you. You, you, God ain't made no two of us alike, amen. And whatever you've been called to do, you got a special touch of body. Come on, somebody. You got a special little class somebody. You got a special way of doing it. And, and, and no matter how hard somebody else tries to do like you, they can't do like you. That's why it behooves us not to try to copy nobody. Can I get a witness? Just be yourself. Because God has called you in the capacity that he has called you. Because he knows you got that certain little twist. You got that certain little air. You got that certain little way about doing it that, 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 that he's gifted and talented you with that nobody else can do. And when you find somebody in their capacity working in themselves that God has called them, there's nothing more becoming. Then I looked over in the New English Version and I wanted to know how did they interpret that 15th verse. And, and, and instead of saying it's becoming, they say it is proper. Look in your NIV sometime at uh, Matthew 3 and 15 and it'll say it's the proper thing to do. You know what Jesus was saying? He was saying it, 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 it's just the proper thing to do. It's the right thing to do. It's up to you to do what you know is right because it's just the right thing to do. In short, no matter how you look at this text and this scripture, it falls on us to fulfill what's right. I can't dwell on that enough this morning. It, it, it don't fall on the world. It don't fall on the sinner man. Amen. It don't fall on mama and daddy. It falls on us. Each one of us individually doing what God has called us to do. Amen. Amen. You see, it, it's just up to us uh, it, to do what Spike Lee said, to do the right thing. You remember that movie, Do the Right Thing? Amen. God, God has called us and it's up to us to do the right thing no matter what somebody else doing. I'm going to do, that to be our determination, I'm going to do the right thing because it's becoming and it's proper. And, and God has told me and told John, in, in, in John got it, 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 it's the proper thing to do. You know, my sister and brother and I speedily moved. It was John's idea for Jesus not to do what he knew he needed to do. Now I want you to read this whole text, the third chapter of Matthew sometime, but if you read it, John, John didn't want to baptize Jesus. He said, no, 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 I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy to even untie you, to latch it on your shoes. In other words, matter of fact, Jesus, can I put it plain? You ought to be baptizing me. But you know what? But Jesus told him, he told him by a text, he said, I, I know I know that, John, I know that, but it's up to us. It's up to me and you to do the right thing. It's up to us, amen, to fulfill what's right. Hallelujah. Because Jesus knew God's will. He didn't back off. He didn't find an excuse. He didn't say somebody else would do it. He didn't back away and say, well, I'll do it next week. No, what he did, the Bible declared right here before us that he went in the war. <laughs> Amen. He didn't hesitate. He went right about it. You know, sometimes we're determined that I'm gonna, uh, it's up to me to do the right thing, and I'm going to do the right thing, but I'm going to start next week. I'm going to start next month. I'm going to start when I retire. 
Hey man, let me just mess up this message by telling you, I have talked to numerous people that, that when they come up to you, they be feeling guilty about not worshiping and all, and they be telling you stuff like this, Rev. Now just as soon as I retire, I'm going to do much better. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm, 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 I'm going to start doing better. I'm going to get busy. And you know what? Like they know how they're going to be in a few years. Hey. Amen. I got one in mind now. And I dare not call it. But they, they, they told me that I'm going to be it. But I stopped by to remind you today that that individual didn't know that sickness was coming. Hey Amen. How many know most of us wait until you retire? You spend more time at the retirement office. I mean, trying to get your little money straight. Come on. And you spend more time. Come on, somebody. Hey Amen. Going and back and forth to the doctor than you do anywhere else. Can we get it with him? God wants us while we're young to serve him while we're still energetic. Hey Amen. While we are young. Serve him while we able. Don't wait till we get the way we have to drag. I feel a preacher here. Yeah. Amen. We need to hear this today because too many want to put God down the road like they know what road they on and how long they going to be on the road. Amen. And the Bible says today if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Amen. Work while it's day because nighttime coming. Amen. And you don't have to be in the grave for it to be nighttime. Amen. When you can't go like you want to go. When you can't do like you want to do. Amen. That's nighttime. That nighttime. Yeah. I start about to tell somebody. It's good to know. Even if those hard times do fall upon you. And you can't go like you used to go. You can look back over your life. Like, like Nehemiah. Amen. And say, Lord, you know I've been doing all I could. But when you can't look back and put your face to the wall and tell the Lord nothing because you ain't done nothing. Yeah, he told him, I don't, I don't need, but Jesus said, hey, something it can be so now. He went in the water and was baptized by John. And let me just watch you. I want you to see something here. When he did and when we do, when we realize it's up to us to do certain things, God will open up heaven to you. <laughs> Where you find that at, River? That same text declares when Jesus went down in there and done what he supposed to do, amen, and wouldn't let John talk him out. He went on down into the water. The Bible said it had no up. Somebody had not closed up on you a little bit. Now I'm finna mess with you again. Maybe it's because you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. Amen. Your bills piling up. Amen. Your house payment behind and all these kind of things. If you find what you're supposed to do and be doing what you're supposed to do, God will open up the windows of heaven and he'll pull you out of blessing. I wonder if there are anybody that knows the Lord will make you the head and not the tail if you do what you're supposed to do. I wonder if there are anybody under the sound of my voice today know that the Lord will make a way out of no way if you're doing what you're supposed to do. How many know he'll open doors that nobody can't close and if the door is closed and damn shit, he'll open up a window. Ah, is there anybody? You done open up the window. Just pouring out blessings. I see the rain coming. Not only that, if you do what it's up to you to do. Ain't talking about Sally, Tom, Dick, and Harry. What you've been told to do. If you just do what you've been told to do. Not only will heaven open up, but the Holy Spirit yeah. will fill your life. Yeah. You'll be on fire everywhere you go. Yeah. You'll tell women and men that the wages of sin is death. Yeah. And you won't mind telling them that the God that I serve, yeah. he's able to do. Yeah. Tell you the witness. Yeah. Not only that, you'll get God's approval. Yeah. Because the Bible says in this text, Ha, that God was so happy with Jesus ha, doing what was up to him to do. Ha, that the God and the Son and the Word ha, came together and a voice from heaven said, This is ha, my beloved Son ha, and whom I ha, am well pleased. Ha, well, preacher, just run down a short list because you said you were going to be quick. Ha, I can't cover it all because there's just too much to cover today. Ha, but let me just touch a few things ha, that will help us to fulfill feel all righteousness. Ha. The Bible says have faith in God. Ha. Can I get a witness? Ha. Yeah, I tell you in these times, ha. 
we got to put our faith in God and God alone. Four times the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. It's up to us to fulfill the righteous call to believe God anyhow. No matter how pain looks, number two. Ha, it's our responsibility ha, to do the Matthew 28, ha, 19 and 20. Ha, to go ye ha, into all the world ha, and make disciples, ha, baptizing them ha, in the name of the Father, ha, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Ha, and we have the witness. Ha, the Bible said, God said, ha, Behold, I'll be with you ha, always, ha, even to the end of the world. Ha, another thing. Ha, that we need to get our head on straight ha, and put it up in the front. Ha, and that is, ha, know it's up to us ha, not to lay up treasures ha, on earth. Ha, reaching and grabbing ha, everything you get your hands on ha, and stacking it up ha, for a rainy day. Ha, yes, ha, lay up not treasures ha, on earth. Ha, why not? Ha, because moths ha, and corruption ha, will come and take it away. Ha, can I get a witness? Ha, what else can I do? Ha, that means I'm on the righteous road. Ha, it's up to us ha, to pray. Ha, come on, somebody. Ha, nobody else ha, can't pray for you. Ha, you have to pray ha, for yourself. Ha, steal away ha, and talk to the Lord. Ha, tell him what you want. Ha, tell him what you need. I heard him say, you can ask, and you will know what you will get. You can see, and you'll find. You can knock, and the door will be open. Somebody waiting on somebody else to knock on the door for Jesus, for them. But you got to knock for yourself. Can I get a witness? Ha. Mama done knock ha, till she done rolled a finger nail ha, and nothing had changed. Ha. You need to knock ha, for yourself. Ha. And when you knock ha, and keep on knocking ha, after a while, ha, won't he do it? Ha. The Lord will ha, answer the door. Ha. And I heard him say, ha, not only will I answer, ha, but I'll come in. Ha. And when I get in, ha, I sit down. And I suck with you. Ha. Isn't that all right? Ha. We don't want to stop there. Ha. Let's pick up number five. Ha. Another thing about it, ha. when it comes to for us ha. to fulfill all righteousness, ha. you're the one I'm really liking the heart on right here. Ha. That is ha. Hebrews 10 ha. and 25. Ha. It's the right thing. Ha. Don't let nobody tell you ha. in the world. Ha, it's not the right thing ha, to be going to church ha, in the time that we in. Ha, the Bible declares, ha, Hebrews 10 and 25, ha, fail not ha, to assemble yourself ha, together. Ha, are you together this morning? Ha, fail not ha, to assemble. Ha, as you see, ha, the day drawing now, ha, but he put in parentheses, ha, as some are. Ha, how many know? Ha, don't, pay, don't look at nobody. Ha, how many know somebody ha, used to assemble? Ha, but now ha, they don't assemble. Ha, you can look for them, ha, but you don't see them. Ha, but they were the holiest thing ha, in the church ha, before the pandemic. Ha, I'm going to preach it today. Ha, they were always praising around, ha, waving and shouting. Ha, the loudest thing ha, in church ha, ran back ha, and sang it loud. Ha, but now ha, you look out ha, over the congregation, ha, you can't see them. Ha, then went back down ha, in the gopher hole ha, and hide not. Ha, but I stopped by ha, to tell you ha, Hebrews 10 and 25, ha, say fail not ha, to assemble yourself. Ha, let's go a little further. Ha, there's love, ha, everybody, ha, all the love, ha, everybody, ha. Then there's trust, ha, in the Lord, ha, and lean, ha, not to your own, ha, understanding, ha. Well, preacher, ha, what's number eight, ha, put on, ha, the whole armor, ha, of God, ha, in this day and time, ha, we need to put on, ha, all the armor, ha, cause the devil, 
ha, know his time winding up, ha, he busy than ever, ha, you need to pull on, ha, the whole arm of God, ha, so when the devil come, ha, and them principalities, ha, and them powers, ha, get to moving, ha, you'll stand, ha, and still, ha, be able to stand, ha, can I get a witness, ha, keep your praise on, ha, that's another thing, ha, that's up to us, ha, did not song, ha, 150 say, ha, let everything, ha, that had breath, ha, praise the Lord, ha, praise him, ha, in the morning, ha, praise him, ha, in the evening, ha, praise him, ha, ride down the road, ha, praise him, ha, women at the clothesline, ha, praise him, ha, over the stove, ha, praise him, ha, from the rising, ha, up the sun, ha, to the setting, ha, up the same, ha, number 10, ha, here's another one, ha, run, ha, in the race, ha, don't drop out, ha, the law, ha, done brought you, mm -hmm. too far, to turn around, ha, run the race, ha, with patience, ha, for the race, ha, is not given to the fast, ha, not to the strong, ha, but to he, ha, that hold out, ha, and endure, ha, to the end, ha, can I get a witness, ha, and I like the last one, ha, keep, ha, look it up, ha, that's what, ha, all right it is about, ha, David said, ha, I will look, I will look to the hill from whence come my help. Ha, but he must have thought about it. Ha, and he thought about how to heal. Ha, didn't have no hands. Ha, he thought about how to heal. Ha, didn't have no feet. Ha, he thought about how ha, the heels ha, couldn't do nothing. Ha, and he reached back ha, and said, my help, my help. All of my help ha, come from the Lord. Ha, isn't that all right? Ha, well, we through here now. Ha, but I want to tell you this. Ha, it's up to us ha, to be born again. Ha, isn't that right? Ha, it's up to us ha, to cry our Father. Ha, it's up to us ha, to have the Holy Ghost. Ha, and the Holy Ghost ha, have you. Ha, it's up to us ha, be on fire. Ha, it's in our hands. Ha, Work while it's day. Ha, it's in our hand. Ha, to do the same works ha, that Jesus did. Ha, but I got a news flash. Ha, he said the same works ha, that I do. Ha, you can do the same. Ha, then he put a great big adjective in there. Ha, and said greater works. Ha, can you do? Ha, I wonder there anybody ha, who know you ought to be peculiar. Ha, that's the way God has ha, for us. Ha, we all not the look. Ha, like the world, ha, we all not the walk, ha, like the world, ha, we all not the talk, ha, like the world, ha, we cue you, ha, you right grandma, ha, you don't have to put the P on the front, ha, we'll cue you people, ha, we don't walk, ha, we don't go places, ha, that other folk go, ha, we don't do things, ha, that other folk do, ha, cause we cue you, ha, can I get a witness, ha, well, Ha, get through, Reverend. Ha, your 12 o'clock, ha, done come. Ha, let my clock for a minute, ha, but I stopped by to tell you, ha, that Jesus, ha, knew it was up to him, ha, to come down, ha, through 40 generations, ha, am I right about it? Ha, Jesus knew it was up to him, ha, to heal the sick, ha, and to raise the dead, ha, Jesus knew it was up to him, ha, to open the eyes, ha, of the blind, ha, Jesus knew, ha, it was up to him, ha, to go out on a hill, ha, called Calvary, ha, and there, ha, he died, ha, can I get a witness, ha, is there anybody, ha, will stand on your feet, ha, and be a witness, ha, Jesus knew, ha, it was on him, ha, to die, ha, from the sixth, ha, to the ninth hour, ha, but aren't you glad, ha, somebody ought to say I'm glad, ha, I'm glad, ha, it was up to him, ha, early, ha, Sunday morning, ha, to get up, ha, with all power, ha, in his hand, ha, and one more thing, ha, Jesus know, ha, it's up to him, ha, to come back, ha, and one of these days, ha, the Lord, ha, 
the father of our Savior, ha, gonna look over at Jesus ha, and say, child, ha, my only begotten son, ha, go back ha, and get my people ha, who were called by my name. Ha, isn't he all right? Ha, I tried it. Ha, have you tried it? Ha, it's up to me. Ha, it's up to you ha, to be his eyes, ha, to see his will. Ha, it's up to us ha, to be his legs. Ha, it's up to us to be in my mouth. It's up to us. It's up to us, I tell you, to tell somebody the Lord is my light. To tell somebody the Lord is oh, the Lord is the strength of my life. Whom or what shall I feel? Amen. It's up to us to boldly go about our Father's business. Trust in Him. Lean in on Him. With that note, it's also Romans the 10th chapter, which is the start of everything that's in your hand or been given in your hand. The Bible says you got to confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart and you will be saved. You didn't say you might, probably. There might be one here today. It's up to you. You are at a critical point in life where you know you don't know Jesus. Go ahead, sister, and pray. You know if you die today or tomorrow, you don't know really where you're going to spend eternity. It's up to you today to fulfill all righteousness. 